self-identity, the journey of finding who you are and who you want to be and what you want to live into in life. Friends, fact of the matter is, is finding your identity is a journey that for many of us, we can hit a wall on at different times in life. We can have different stages of life to say, do I really even know who I am anymore? And it can often happen when we face major life changes, health changes, kids going off to school, retirements, job changes. The thing the, the journey and the thing about self-navigation and self-reflection is it can be filled with this wide array of twists and turns and roadblocks and, and navigating it all can be overwhelming at times, to say the least. In today's video, we're going to explore some steps to help navigate this path to help you uncover your true self, who you truly want to be now. Now, it's important you keep in mind on this, that who you want to be now may be different than it was three years ago. It may be different than it's going to be five years from now. That's why it's in the now identity. The reason I say that is going through this exercise, you may find it now, but be open to pivoting. Be open to in a year from now, if you see that you're liking or navigating differently, pivot and allow yourself to continue to grow in the direction of, of deepening your identity in the then. All right. And we're going to jump in. So number one, self-reflection. Guys, this one is so important. Begin by taking some time to just look at you. Ask yourself, what are my passions? What are my values? What are my beliefs? What things have I done in life and what experiences have I had that have shaped me into who I am now? What motivates me? What can I lose time doing? And I'm not talking about Netflix. I'm not talking about binge watching. Not that there's anything wrong with it. I do. I do have my own fun binging at times. I'm talking about the thing that you love so much. Maybe it's crafting or writing or your work or whatever it is. What is that thing? And how can you get more of that in life? Or what does that tell you about who you are? And how can you use that into who you choose to be in the years to come? Listen to what I just said of choice. It's all your choice who you choose to be. Number two, explore your interests. What I love here is do a brainstorm list of all the things you could try, all the possibilities in life, and then start chipping it away. Start trying them on for size. Maybe you try hiking or swimming or biking or writing or reading. Some of the things you may love, other things you may say, yeah, it's not really for me. I'm not really a cook or a painter or whatever you choose to try. But I can tell you this, the more things that you try and start doing, the closer you're going to get to what you like and to what you enjoy. And so what you identify as being, oh, this is me. As an example, I identify as someone who loves fitness. I love being in my gym. I love writing. That Those are part of my identity. I am an author. I am a writer. I am a gym junkie often. What are those for you? And I meant that in a good way. These are good things, right? Because it, it gets us closer to who we are. Most importantly on this one, stay curious. Stay curious to just learning yourself and being in appreciation of whatever you learn about yourself and saying, all right, I guess this is something I like and being okay with it. That's who you choose to be, which brings me perfectly into number three, embrace who you are. Guys, your identity is yours to own. Embrace it. Embrace and celebrate your quirks and your strengths and your flaws, every single bit of them. 
And most importantly, surround yourself with people who accept you for all those beautiful, messy parts of yourself. Surround yourself with people who encourage you to be your authentic self and allow you to be your authentic self without making you wrong for it. Number four, seek meaningful connections. Again, perfect segue, right? Connect with others who share your values and your interests. Connect with people who you can deeply engage with and trust in that engagement. We know that meaningful relationships can provide support and guidance and a sense of belonging and identity. Last but not least, we have to embrace the suck. We have to embrace the suck and the growth of it all. As I mentioned earlier, your identity is going to evolve over time. Embrace it. Stay open to some of the messiness. Stay open to the new experiences and the new perspectives. And and know that all of those are going to just contribute to your ongoing self-discovery. But most importantly, enjoy the unlocking and the uncovering of who you deeply are at each and every stage. You, my friends... You deserve to be fulfilled in who you are and who you choose to be. Lean into it. That's all I have for today, friends. As always, stay well, be well, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye, guys.